And now, please give the warmest possible welcome to today's star organist, the fantastically talented Brett Wales.
Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's wonderful to be here for the first time at the Musical Museum in Brentford. Yeah, Brentford. Sunny Brentford. We arrived yesterday and uh, we were setting up the organ yesterday and uh, I got to play the Wurlitzer. Beneath the stage is a, a fantastic Wurlitzer instrument and uh, it's like a, a, an Aladdin's cave, isn't it, this place? It really is. It's magical and... Uh, uh, we enjoyed the last couple of days just hanging around the place and playing with all the toys. They like toys, aren't they, really? And it's lovely to see and uh, fantastic to be here. So thank you very much for the invitation uh, from Steve and the rest of the team. It's a big pleasure for me to be here playing for you this afternoon. Not only on my on here, but I'm also on the interweb. On the internet, yeah, we're on the internet. It's being uh, streamed live uh, out onto YouTube. So hello to everybody at home. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Uh, let's hope it gets better from now on, hopefully. So it's wonderful to be here. Hands up who's seen me before. I know you've seen me before, I know you, and I know you have. Well, uh, I'll just explain a little bit about myself and then we'll carry on with the music. For those that don't know about me, I've been playing the organ now. I started to learn to play at quite a young age. It was actually my grandfather that got me interested in the organ. He was a hobbyist. He never went out professionally or playing uh, in, in a professional manner. He was always just a hobby for him. And growing up, I can never remember a time where there wasn't an organ in the house. So uh, I was around about the age of three when I first started to take an interest in the organ, although it wasn't until I turned six that I decided to take it seriously as a career. Uh, but uh, my granddad was really, really happy that I was taking an interest in his hobby. Uh, so eventually he got me music lessons, then a little bit further down the line he, he took me for my theory and my practical exams which gave me a great sort of base to build a career on. So here I am a few years down the line uh, and uh, still making music. I, not only do I play uh, this uh, wonderful Verzi instrument but uh, I also work with a band as well. So I work in a function band playing for weddings and different functions like that. Uh, so. I'm very, very honoured to be able to lead such a musical life. So hopefully you're going to enjoy some of the music I'm going to play for you this afternoon. A lot of it is influenced by my grandfather, like I said, uh, but then there's other stuff that I picked up myself along the way. So this is the Verzi Sonic instrument. I demonstrate for Verzi. I play in concert for them all over the UK and in Europe as well. Uh, so uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy some of these wonderful sounds from the Sonic uh, this afternoon. So we'll carry on with something. Uh, we'll do something a little romantic, a little romantic to get you in the mood. Yeah, we'll do something uh, with a little romance. This is a beautiful song. One of my grandfather's favourite pieces of music. He did love this piece. Um, his actual favourite arrangement was Perry Como. Can you remember Perry Como? Yeah. Perry Como arrangement. Really great piece of music. Most of the great singers of the day have actually covered this one. But I hope you enjoy. It's simply called And I Love You So. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Hope you enjoy. Here we go.
Thank you very much, uh, my beloved father. Okay, uh, I mentioned my grandfather and his influence. Um, in particular, my grandfather was a big fan uh, of a German organist um, of, but by the name of Klaus Wunderlich. Uh, Klaus was actually the first organist my grandfather heard, and he got him interested in the organ. He was sort of the instigator of his interest uh, in the organ. He heard a record of his many, many years ago, and from that day, he was hooked. Um, and uh, I actually got to meet Klaus when I was younger. We used to travel to Germany to the factory where they built the instruments then. Uh, and we used to travel there and see different artists, different Versi players. And uh, Klaus was one we actually got to see. I got to meet him as well. I got to shake his hand. Uh, and um, we also saw him when he was on tour in England uh, as well. We used to come over and tour every few years. Uh, so what a wonderful talent he was, and by some coincidence, it was actually, it would have been his 91st birthday yesterday. Um, so uh, he's uh, no longer with us, he passed away in 1997. Not only was he a fantastic organist, but he was a, a, a great arranger of music. He really understood how music should be arranged and performed. Uh, and this was evident in his recordings. He made many, many albums over the years, uh, and he would use a technique called multi-tracking. So multi-tracking would allow you to layer sounds on top of sounds to recreate a big sound that you would hear from an orchestra or from a big band or from ABBA or from whatever. So Klaus was an absolute master of this. And uh, eventually, uh, as I got a little bit older, I got into multi-tracking uh, in the same respect that he did. He didn't use a, a, a recording studio anywhere else. He, he actually had his own recording studio at his home. Um, and this is the way I've gone. It's a lot more common nowadays to have a recording studio at your house and a lot easier to, to be accessible. Uh, but so Klaus was a fantastic. Like I said, he, he really had the understanding of music and he really knew how to produce great sounds from, from an organ. Uh, in particular, an organ by the name of the Helios, the Versi Helios, which is an old analog organ. Um, it's actually 50 years old now and still a fantastic sound, very different to what we've got here today. So all the sounds on this are what you call sampled sounds. So if you hear a, a clarinet or a saxophone or a trombone, they've actually been sampled from real instruments and put into the keys uh, for you to play. So all depending on how good the sample is, sometimes uh, you can be fooled into thinking it's the real thing and not a sample. So um, yeah, but so great sounds that you can get from this, all sampled sounds. The Helios was completely different to this. This was an analog system and the sounds were tone generated. So they were created to sound like that particular sound. So if you heard a trombone, you could obviously tell it's not a real thing. Um, but uh, I'm going to use some of the sounds from the Helios because a friend of mine uh, and I, Ben, um, a friend of mine, Ben, we actually sampled a Helios. We got a, a Helios into the studio and we sampled lots of sounds that Klaus would have used back in the day on the Helios and put them into the organ. So at a touch of a button now, I can change my new organ into my old organ and bring back lots of memories of this wonderful sound. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. It's a little bit of a tribute to uh, the great man, Mr. To Klaus Wunderlich and of course the Versi Helios using these wonderful sounds that we've sampled. Uh, there's three songs in this medley, you should recognize them when I play them, and uh, hope you enjoy a tribute to Klaus Wunderlich and the Versi Helios.
Abba, know me, knowing you. Okay, I'd like to go back uh, to just playing with a style next. And this is a, a style that I actually created for this organ. Um, this instrument is really good at orchestral stuff. Uh, bit, uh, so like um, music, uh, music from the movies and uh, uh, classical music. It really, really does uh, come into its own when you're doing something like this. This is a style I created for this particular piece. It's actually from a movie, a, a series of movies actually. There's, I think there's six of them. The Pirates of the Caribbean. You know the Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh, starring Johnny Depp, of course. Um, and uh, a great series of films and the music goes so well with uh, with the, the 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 movie so hope you enjoy this it's not very long it doesn't last very long but it gives you a great idea of how this uh, this organ can handle that sort of music so um, this was actually composed by a great composer by the name of Hans Zimmer who's composed many many uh, film scores uh, over the years but uh, Hans Zimmer who also invented the frame as well so I believe but uh, hope you enjoy this the pirates of the Caribbean or me duck
Thank you very much. Okay, when you talk about great composers, particularly from uh, the United Kingdom, uh, of course, it's uh, impossible not to mention Andrew Lloyd Webber. Uh, so I'm going to feature something from Andrew Lloyd Webber next. Uh, and uh, I first started playing on the organ circuit um, quite a few years ago. It must be about 25 years ago. I know I don't look old enough, but I am. Uh, and um, I first went to, uh, I used to, when I was younger, we used to go to the organ festivals out uh, at Caister near Great Yarmouth. There was a, a big organ festival where there would be, uh, I don't know, maybe 1,200 people in the audience, massive audience, uh, full of all en or enthusiasts of the organ. And uh, during the week, it was a week-long event, during that week, uh, you would see maybe 40, maybe 50 different organists from all over the world. Um, and when I was there, it was quite amazing to be part of it and uh, to get to play for there as well eventually. Um, but um, when I was there, I quickly discovered that certain songs uh, were very popular. So certain songs everybody wanted to play. Like this next particular piece I'm going to play for you. It's one of them songs that was so popular in the day, everyone wanted to play it. So if you was at a festival for the whole week, Chances were you would hear certain songs like this one maybe 30, maybe 40, maybe 50 times. So there were certain songs that I avoided playing back then. I wanted to be a little bit different and stand out from other people. So I avoided playing certain songs. Uh, so what I'm telling you basically is this next piece I'm going to play for you. I've waited 25 years to play this for you this afternoon. So hope it's going to be worth the wait. Uh, to be fair, the sounds that I got from this now, I'm glad I've waited those 25 years because it really does make it sound um, a, a justify using this sort of sound for this instrument. So I hope you enjoy from Andrew Lloyd Webber. And this is a great piece. Of course, what else? The Phantom of the Opera. Hope you enjoy.
you very much. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, we've got enough time to play one more song and then there's going to be an interval uh, and then we'll be back in, in about half an hour with uh, some more music. So I do have some recordings available. Uh, my latest recording is actually called Mr. Blue Sky and it's not available on CD. It's only available download only, which uh, is available from my website, which is brettwales.com. Uh, so if you want to go to there, you can see not only my latest recording, Mr. Blue Sky, but all the other recordings that I've got here with me this afternoon. Uh, but for those that are watching at home, obviously, if you want to go onto brettwales.com, you can see all information about me and where I'm playing and things like that. Uh, and also information of our weekend breaks. We do weekend breaks. Uh, the next one we're doing is in December, which is a the uh, uh, Nottingham Belfry Hotel is my hometown uh, of Nottingham, and I think it's the fifth time we've held an event at uh, the Nottingham Belfry. So all the information is out in the foyer, uh, or like if you're watching at home, it is available on brettwales.com. So thanks for listening. Hope you've enjoyed my music. Please stick around. The second half does get better, I promise you. Uh, so, uh, But I'll leave you with this. This was actually from not my latest recording, but the one before that, which is called Pride and joy uh, so is the phantom as well phantom is also on pride and joy which is available here on cd so i hope you enjoyed this, this was actually a hit for uh, peculiar clock back in the 60s 1960 this was a hit and it's a great piece of music it's called romeo thanks for listening i'll see you a little bit later on thank you very much Ladies and gentlemen, there'll now be a short interval. For our audience here in our concert hall, the museum's cafe is open, serving a variety of snacks, ice cream, alcohol, and soft drinks.
And for the viewers at home and watching online, there's plenty of time for a cup of tea. So please go and enjoy. We'll be back right after the break. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Brett Wales.
Thank you very much. Rock and roll. Okay, completely different to that next. A piece from the greatest composer of them all. Of course, it's Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Uh, this is a great piece and it's called Rondo a la Turk.
Kachaturian Sabre Dance. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, something very special happened to me this year. Uh, in April, uh, in April, uh, I were very, very proud to say that uh, uh, our very first grandchild arrived. Yes, I'm a grandfather. So yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Really, it was nothing. But uh, yeah, so I know I don't look old enough, but I am. I am old enough to be a grandfather. And uh, his name is Axel, Axel Hendricks. So it's a good rock and roll star name. I think he'll be on the stage, hopefully. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's lovely. He is absolutely wonderful. I don't know if the... Oh, there's a picture of him there. There you go. That's him. Yeah, he's lovely. So beautiful boy. He, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's very happy. And uh, of course, uh, we're, we're all over the moon. He's got so many aunties and uncles to uh, look after him because I'm, I'm, I'm the owner or the co-owner of quite a few children, you see. So um, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. We're really looking for... Uh, he's a lovely boy, very good uh, temperament, and uh, he likes his food, and he likes his music, and he likes his motorbikes. So, uh, yeah, he's good. He's, uh, it's great. Uh, April the 3rd, he was born. April the 3rd. I will remember that day for the rest of my life. Uh, not because uh, it was the day he was born, but it was actually the first evening I ever went to, uh, to bed with a grandmother. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing, really. I've never done it before. It's never, never happened before, so there you go. Uh, I'm going to do a song. We'll dedicate it to Axel and also to his mum, uh, Bethany, our eldest daughter. She, um, uh, is, she's doing such a fantastic job uh, raising him, and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, not he it's not easy, I know, because we've been there, and it's not easy, but she's really making it look easy. So this is dedicated to them. Hope you enjoyed. This was written by the late great Roy Orbison. It's a beautiful piece of music and it's called A Love So Beautiful for Axel and for Bethany. Here we go.
queen, a kind of magic. Okay, uh, next, going back to playing completely live again, uh, next, uh, this isn't even using a style, it's using no backings whatsoever. It's just playing completely live, using your left uh, foot and your left hand to create the, uh, the rhythm, like you would on the, Wurt uh, the Wurlitzer, the mighty Wurlitzer. So um, this is a great piece of music, uh, and uh, it's uh, actually someone recommended that I listen to the Andre Rio arrangement of this piece. So I had to listen to it, and I worked out an arrangement. The fantastic thing about this organ is you can put 16 sounds on at once. So you can have 16 voices, different voices and you can split them in different parts of the keys. So you can have uh, your drums down here, timpanis and stuff, and, and uh, triangles, and uh, you can have like violins up the top. Put them in different parts of the keys, which makes playing this sort of piece just a little bit easier doing it live. So I hope you enjoy this, a great piece, my arrangement of Andre Rio's arrangement of In a Persian Market. Hope you enjoy.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been a wonderful pleasure to come and play here this afternoon for you. Uh, and uh, first time I've ever been to the place. And I, I have to say, oh, we're absolutely blown away. It's been absolutely mega. Uh, oh, bless you. What's that? Oh, is that water? I, yeah, oh, good. That's good. Mm. Ah. Hey, the water's good here. I tell you, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have to say thank you to Steve, actually, because Steve, he's such a wonderful guy. He contacted me during COVID um, to say, could we do um, a concert? And uh, I was really blown away that uh, he'd invite me down to here. It's a wonderful venue. And uh, anybody out there that's on the internet that's uh, watching and listening, uh, I can definitely recommend coming down to the uh, Musical Museum. It's a fantastic experience. And uh, the staff are all so friendly. And uh, it's like a little family here, isn't it? It's wonderful. It's a fantastic place. Uh, please do visit the website. Uh, I think it's up on the screen now. Uh, and uh, if you visit the website, you get more information about forthcoming shows. I think uh, there's one coming up soon. Richard Hills, isn't it? I think uh, he'll be playing here. Fantastic organist, Richard. And uh, yeah, I did have a go. On, I had a go on the Wurlitzer yesterday. It was really good. I don't really play theatre organ that much. And uh, but when I get the chance, Steve asked me to come down yesterday and have a try of it. So. Um, it was wonderful, a wonderful experience. It's really good. It's the root of all of the uh, the whole organ, really, isn't it? The, the theatre organ. So fantastic. Thank you to uh, David and to Simon on the sound and the lights. They've done a fantastic job uh, working. Yeah. Really good sound, excellent, that's what we love. Thank you to my great friend Carl for uh, coming down with me as well. He's come down for a couple of days to... Uh, I don't pay him, he just comes for free. Gets a free day out, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he's very, very lucky. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you to Carl. Uh, Carl is actually a fantastic bass player. A wonderful, wonderful, talented man. And uh, we work together, uh, most weekends we work together with our function band. He plays bass uh, and I play keys. And uh, maybe we'll bring the band down. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? We'll bring the band down and do something down here. That would be good. We'll, we'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. Fantastic. So thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everybody. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon in the near future um, until the next time I'll leave you with this this is from my latest album like I mentioned before available on brettwales.com and this is Mr. Blue Sky uh, from the mighty ELO so I hope you enjoy enjoy the rest of your day and look forward to seeing you again soon thank you very much goodbye
You've been watching Musical Museum Live, a digital broadcast from the Musical Museum in London. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our content. To find out more about the Musical Museum, visit musicalmuseum.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.